Have you seen these speedy birds around you before? Once you recognize the way these birds fly in the sky or see their unique nesting sites, you'll be able to recognize swallows everywhere. Today I'm going to share with you more about swallows and my experience seeing two common swallows in the Bay Area, starting with the barn swallow. Swallows are about the size of a sparrow, with a streamlined body built to hunt insects in the air. They have a short, sharp beak for catching insects and tapered wings that come to a point. Barn swallows typically have a deep, steely blue back, orange belly, and a forked tail. They can be found around open fields and man-made structures. For me, the barn swallow was a familiar bird growing up. It was probably the first bird where I could actually see the nest and the chicks up close. I remember barn swallows nesting around the buildings of my elementary school. While waiting in line or during recess, we would see the parent birds construct the mud nests and even see them feed their baby chicks. It was very exciting for little me. As for the second swallow, this was a bird I became more familiar with recently when I was able to visit a wildlife refuge and see their nesting sites up close. When I noticed these speedy birds flying along the water, I noticed how their tail and head looked different from the barn swallow. Meet the cliff swallow, a swallow that builds mud nests along cliffs and now man-made structures near bodies of water. While the cliff swallow might look similar to the barn swallow, there are ways you can tell them apart. The cliff swallow has a distinctive white marking on its forehead, a white belly, and a white patch on the rump, and a shorter square tail. You can see the differences in their outlines here. So while I was by the water, I got to see a lot of cliff swallows flying and diving, getting to catch insects and fly back to the bridge where their nests are. Cliff swallows are semi-colonial, which means they can nest in colonies with other cliff swallows. Did you know that they can form their mud nests by scooping mud out of the ground and going back to their nest to build it? While on the bridge, I managed to get one good close-up view by pointing my phone in between the boards. Ah, look at their little heads! Now a few months later, I came back to the park to see how the swallows were doing. There were less cliff swallows than before, but this time I was paying attention to the swallows flying around and spotted some barn swallows as well. Swallows can feed in a mixed species flock and I spotted the barn swallows by their forked tails. So speedy and super cute. While I'm focusing on the barn swallow and cliff swallow, I wanted to mention that there are a few more swallows in the area namely the tree swallow, the violet green swallow, and the northern rough-winged swallow. Both tree and violet green swallows like to nest in tree cavities and birdhouses. There apparently are a lot of violet green swallows in the bay and more oak woodlands. And interestingly enough, northern rough-winged swallows nest in holes like drain pipes. Swallows belong in the Hirundinidae family, along with martins and sawwings as their cousins. Birds in the Hirundinidae family are adapted for flying and catching insects mid-air and have a similar sleek body shape and wings that are efficient for flying. Barn swallows are part of the genus Hirundo, while cliff swallows are part of the genus Petrochelodon. The barn swallow's scientific name, Hirundo rustica, comes from the Latin word Hirundo, meaning swallow, and rusticus, meaning of the country. A few more fun facts about barn swallows is that the species has been historically known to live with humans throughout history, with accounts ranging from 29 BC sharing that they nest in man-made structures. This resulted in the barn swallow having one of the largest natural distributions of a bird, as it naturally spread as humans spread. Barn swallows are also known for migrating long distances as populations in North America would have their breeding grounds in the summer and then migrate south for the winter. 
All right, that's what I wanted to share for swallows for this video. Overall, swallows are great. 10 out of 10 speedy shape, great for flying and catching bugs. Hope you found them fascinating as I did. Bye for now.